Good morning, East Texas. I'm Sarah Miller, and this is your morning news update. A Tyler police officer has been put on administrative leave after he shot and killed a 22-year-old man who police say pointed a handgun at officers shortly after midnight New Year's Eve. However, police say the man never fired a shot at officers. Don Martin, Tyler Police Public Information Officer, said that alcohol was present at the residence and may have played a part in the incident. Numerous rounds were found at the back of the residence that were fired from the subjects uh, that were here. Uh, alcohol was observed back there as well. Uh, we do believe that there is some gang affiliation with the, the suspect that was, was, uh, was killed. Did the uh, suspect at any time fire shots at the officers? No. In addition, detectives located an excess of 50 plus spent firearm cartridge rounds located at the rear of the residence. This indicates that a substantial amount of gunfire occurred prior to police arrival, he said. Proud new mother Melva Reddick got a special New Year's surprise early Tuesday morning at Trinity Mother Francis Hospital. Her first child, a son named Micah Jordan Nelson, whose original birth date was January 9th. Ms. Reddick, who cuddled her six-pound, six-ounce son in her hospital room while surrounded by family, said she is very excited to be a mom and considers it to be a blessing. Beginning this year, Interstate 35 East will be expanded between Dallas and Denton. Work should begin by mid-year. Officials say motorists can expect about three and a half years of construction on I-35 East between LBJ Freeway in Dallas area and Denton. The work is scheduled to be complete in 2016. A last-minute deal will help keep the U.S. from driving off the so-called fiscal cliff. A bill passed by Congress late Tuesday averts widespread tax increases and delays deep spending cuts that had threatened to return the country to recession. Another standoff is likely to arrive as early as February, when Congress will need to raise the $16.4 trillion federal borrowing limit so the government can keep paying its bills. Hundreds of swimmers rang in 2013 with a plunge into the icy sea off Brooklyn's Coney Island, an area struggling to recover from Superstorm Sandy. Members of the Icebreakers and the Coney Island Polar Bear Clubs and other brave bathers stripped down to their trunks or dressed in costumes for the annual New Year's Day splash. Some people hit the surf dressed only in bikinis or briefs. Temperatures outside were in the 30s and people screamed at the shock of the cold water. This year, Polar Bear Club members and others were raising money for Sandy Relief efforts. Survivors of a stampede in Ivory Coast that killed 61 people, most of them children and teenagers, after a New Year's Eve fireworks display at a stadium said Wednesday the barricades stopped them from moving along the main boulevard, causing the crush of people. Local newspapers are speculating that thieves set up the roadblocks so the pickpockets could steal money and mobile phones, fr mobile phones from the packed in people. After the holiday season spent with the family, some people may feel they can relate to the famous feud between the Hatfields and McCoys. Artifacts recently unearthed appear to pinpoint the location of the 1888 New Year's ambush by the Hatfields in the woods of Pike County in eastern Kentucky. Excavators found bullets believed to have been fired by the McCoys in self-defense, along with fragments of windows and ceramic from the family's cabin. That's all for now. Have a great Wednesday.